What's going on guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Patrick Hines and thank you for tuning in to uh, episode number three. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about occlusion training. A lot of you don't know what occlusion training is because it is fairly new to the fitness industry. Even I didn't know a few months back. But yeah, occlusion training is a new way of training I would say. So what occlusion training is, is you're restricting blood flow to the veins and it's working in gains of strength and size. So basically what it is, is you're restricting blood flow to the veins but not the arteries. And so you're not gonna pass out even though it's really tight on you, you're not gonna pass out because blood flow can still go. But basically what it does is the blood it's like a blood pool so like it's that it stays in your in your bicep so that's why you're gonna have a really good pump but you're not restricting blood flow coming in and out so you're not gonna pass out so who should use occlusion training it's basically meant for like I said gain uh, in size and strength but it's also really good if you're injured because it puts less stress on your joints especially your shoulders um, and knees that's why you see a lot of guys wrap their knees. That's not really occlusion training, but occlusion training would be right here. So it's not, it is really good for if you're injured, less uh, strain on your joints, really shoulders. It allows your body to get a really good pump and you're still gonna get strength and size without lifting heavy. So with occlusion training, um, your biceps, let's say, it gets really tired really, really easily. So you're lifting like 10 and 15 pounds and it feels like you're lifting 25s or 40s, let's say, but you're really just lifting 10s and 15s. So it's easy on your joints, easy on your shoulders, let's say, but you're not lifting heavy. So it has the same benefits as if you're lifting heavy, but you're not. So for straps, there's a bunch, you could use basically anything, any straps. Uh, these are like the typical ones. I bought them at uh, bradleymartinfitness.com So like these are basically like 20 bucks And people wonder like how tight should I put it? On a scale of 1 to 10 would be 7 So not tight that like you feel you're gonna pass out But 7 would be like tight enough So you, you feel that it's working But like I said, you don't wanna pass out So how do you put the straps or where do you put the straps? So it's very easily, um, you want to put it where the bicep and tricep separates from the shoulder, so right here. Then with your other arm, you're going to pull. And then simply, just like that. And then if you want, you can wrap it. So yeah, just like that. You might look weird at the gym. You might get a lot of comments or a weird look. Um, I mean, if you want to put your shirt down, you might still see it. But if you don't care, just go for it. When should you use this during your workout? Typically, you should use it as a finishing uh, phase. So you would do, let's say, your hypertrophy um, part of the workout. And at the end, you want to crush some biceps, put it on and finish with uh, biceps or quads. It's not something that you want to wear for your whole workout. So, uh, you're doing back and buys. You're not going to wear the straps for your whole workout. This is only meant when you're isolating your muscle. Single joint movements, so whether bicep curls, anything, leg extensions. So pros and cons, like I said earlier, pros, putting less pressure on your joint. Another pro, it saves time. You want to you want to go to the gym, get a quick workout, get a quick pump, Put these on you'll get a pump guaranteed that cons just like anything you do while working out anything even for healthy individual anything uh, could cause injuries another con is for newbies uh, lifters it's very easy to get carried away like newbies they just want to crush it and first of all they're doing bad forms and then if you're putting these on putting the straps on um, they'll think you can keep it to the same weight and that's not good. You want to keep a lightweight, even 10 to 15 pounds for bodybuilders or like advanced is enough. 
because like I said you don't need heavy weights when doing isolation muscles with those bands and like I said earlier another con would be weird stares uh, weird comments like it's not very out there yet like I see basically I never really see people like ever at the gym with them or if they do they they don't show it you know it's under their sleeve or under their shorts um, so yeah be prepared to get a lot of questions and weird stares but just don't care what people think of you if it works it works and that's what that's what should matter for safety tips don't wrap it too tight could cause more harm than good another safety concern absolutely do not use it if you have heart problems or blood circulation problems that is a big no-no because you are, you are playing with your blood um, pressure so don't use it if you have any heart or blood uh, pressure circulation problems so to finish off occlusion training is a tool in, t in your toolbox it's not suddenly gonna put inches on your arms on your legs it's simply a tool um, it's a quick very easy way to get a great pump uh, nothing more nothing less. and to recap uh, it's it's good for healthy individuals or individuals that are repairing from injuries less stress on your joints whether you're healthy or recovering from an injury and to finish off the main reason why you should do it is you'll get a great pump that is basically what it is for you'll get an amazing pump uh, your, your legs and arms will look huge you know if you want to do it for the gram you will look huge or bigger anyways but it won't it won't like grow your arms you, you'll just look more huge because of the pump you, you know you won't be the next Arnold just because you're doing occlusion training hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did leave a like leave a comment share with your friends if you are new make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss any uploads make sure to follow me on my snapchat and on my instagram i will see you soon in the next video take it easy fam watch out oh watch out oh watch out yeah